Hi, this is Eric. This is my garage. I am the Grey Goat, and you're in the Grey Goat Garage, powered by OMBWarehouse.com. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take care of bearings. And a big problem, regardless of where you buy bearings, it's like I had to buy this bearing, and this bearing cost me 30 bucks. And this bearing, OMB Warehouse, sells for $2.50. But they're very similar. And I'm going to show you what we can do for any bearing to help it last longer in your vehicle or in your jack shaft, whatever. So let's let's take a look at things here. You're going to notice in here there's a black seal, and that that seals the grease inside this bearing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop that grease seal out real quick. And all I do is I take a, a pick or, you know, grab the wife's ice pick out of the, the kitchen and, and use that, but just don't tell her. But uh, stick the ice pick in very gently between the inner race and the seal and pop that seal out. Once that seal's popped out, you'll notice that there's a minimal amount of grease in this bearing. And it's a Chinese bearing. Chinese manufacturing says if we can save three cents on grease, we're going to do it because that's a lot of money when you're making 100,000 bearings. So for what we're going to do, maybe that's not great. So these bearings are actually very high quality and they'll last a long time, but they need a little grease. So I have a needle adapter on my grease gun and I can just take this needle adapter and just pump it full of grease. This will allow me to get in here and put plenty of grease into this bearing and you're going to say well i don't have a grease gun like that and i don't have a needle adapter well you don't have to have it i like tools so i have tools so here we go we've got lots of grease in this bearing so now all i have to do is take this seal put it right on and it snaps back into place and now you're going to say ah great go what the heck? I don't have that fancy needle adapter. Well, not everybody's going to have that. So if you have regular grease, we're going to the big bearing now. We're just going to go ahead and pop this seal out and the dirty part. Now, we're just going to take some grease on our finger and we're going to go old school. And we're just going to pack this into the race. Just like uh, anybody that's older that has an older car. You had to pack the wheel bearings and that was always done in the palm of your hand but uh, for this you can't really palm these bearings so i'm just going to get some grease on my finger and just jam it down in there spin it around a little bit wipe my fingers off and now i can take this seal snap this seal back in here wipe the bearing down and now I'm confident that I'm not going to run this bearing dry or have any issues with this bearing long term but you're going to say oh great goat I don't want to take my my bearings out of my wheels because hammering on them sometimes tears them up oh mon frere contraire or something like that why don't we think about leaving the bearing in the wheel, pop the seal out, get some grease on our finger, and pack it right while it's on the wheel. Nothing wrong with this. That will get the job done equally as well. Doesn't hurt if you had a little grease on the inside of this race, because that, that's going to help your uh, axle not weld itself to the inner race of the bearing. We'll just pack it tight like that. Push this seal back in. Don't want to waste any grease. Wipe it off and we're done. So regardless if it's a, 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 an older wheel bearing for the older mini bikes or same thing as a jack shaft bearing or a, a flanged bearing or even the, the new flange bearing that has the crimped end, the seals all come out. 
and we can pack these full of grease. Okay, so it's easy to do. This will help everything last a lot longer. And regardless of where that bearing came from, chances are there's uh, it's going to need more grease than what it came with. So when you pack it full of grease, that's going to allow you to not have uh, moisture coming into the ball bearings and they'll last a lot longer. I'm Eric. I am the Gray Goat. It's my garage. We're powered by OMB Warehouse. St tune in to YouTube to the Gray Goat Garage for more tips and tricks directly from me, the Gray Goat.